Welcome back to Big Boys Toys 2013. I'm sitting in a beautiful Ferrari. Listen to this. Woo! Now the great thing is, is that we can actually test drive it. Follow me and I'll catch up with you in a couple of minutes. With over 120 exhibitors present at this year's edition, our Taj Events company added two new elements to the show. Firstly, ticket holders had a chance to become a millionaire overnight as they entered a raffle draw of 1 million dirhams. Secondly, the interactive zone, which allows visitors to take the car of their dreams for a quick spin around the hotel. While the test drive may only last for a couple of minutes, the memory of cruising around in a sporty Ferrari or Lamborghini will be very hard to forget. I bumped into Dan and Sam. This platform is obviously ideal for them. What are you guys hoping to sort of experience here at Big Boys? Just really just looking around for cars. I've really got a big interest in cars, mainly Mercedes. So yeah, just hopefully look at one and try and steal one here. Definitely, I'm gonna probably have a test drive because I don't think I'll ever get the chance to own one unless you know I can uh, bag myself a substantial pay rise. So we shall see, but yeah, definitely check them out, have a test drive. Just also check out everything else. Let's say there's quite a few um, pretty cool stands. Um, cool exhibitors, so yeah, just see what there is really. It's a little bit overwhelming at first, um, but yeah, no, it's cool, it's something different, it's something that you wouldn't necessarily see in many other places of the world, um, especially in Manchester where I'm from, you don't get this kind of luxury, so yeah, it's quite, it's quite nice to see. Can we have both of you maybe have a go at the foosball table? Let's see how that works. Yeah, Excellent, let's go for it. To be honest, it's only over here that you can see really expensive cars compared to any other country. In the United States, it's supposed to be one of the most, the best countries in the world, yet they're all driving around with some weird small American cars, but that's all there is to it. Here, however, you would see really different type of cars. Let's just say a Lamborghini Reventant. You would never see it anywhere around the world except here. electric helicopter seems to have gotten quite a lot of attention. What do you think of it? I think it's actually really fun. Uh, I really want to be able to have a go. And I've actually played with them a little bit and they're really, really hard to do that sort of stuff. So I'm uh, very enthused at watching, watching him do it. So. Now from the smaller toys, do any of the bigger toys sort of excite you? Maybe the Alfa Romeo, Ferrari, Bentley, Lamborghini? Well, I just test drove a Porsche and I really, really, really enjoyed that. That's, uh, I can see myself driving one of them around. But I like everything from this to motorbikes to all the stuff. So. So how's about putting in an offer for the Porsche? Oh, I'd probably have to do it back home, but it's very tempting, at least to look up a second-hand one for sure. We found Nathan here, who is soaking up some last-minute fun. What have you been getting up to lately? Uh, checking out all the latest technology and what they're doing with uh, old-school stuff like that rolls over there. It's got a mobile disc on it, it's quite amazing. And I've seen another music system over there with some old valve technology from Germany. It's uh, actually incredible stuff. I always thought it was for the rich and famous and all that, but uh, anybody can come here, you know, even if it's just to catch up on technology, etc. You don't have to have money to come here. And many would agree. Besides all the high-end supercars, superbikes and heavy-duty trucks worth millions, there's also a collection of innovative gadgets and gizmos. Visitors felt that the event catered for everyone, those wishing to buy and sell, as well as those visiting for their experience. The Philips style shaver is something quite innovative. Tell me what exactly are you hoping to do today? Well, I hope to look a little bit like Tom Cruise, but that's not going to be possible. Uh, I'm trying to get a French beard, see how that works out. And the gentleman over there behind me is just trying to do that. It's not going to be a big challenge, I hope. And uh, all the best. Now, is your wife here by any chance? She's here as well, yes. She's just behind me. She's also enjoying it. She just loved the new Blackberry behind us. Yeah, and uh, she, she's having a great time as well. It's just not just for boys. Basically, he's trimming my beard. He's just making it lighter. And at the same time, I'm trying his trimmer. Because I have the same tools as he's having, but I'm not using it anymore because I thought I cannot use it. And now he's giving me a good tip for it. Well, now that you're all nicely cleaned up, are you going to pop inside to Big Boys Toys 2013? And, and what exactly are you hoping to sort of experience? Well, I, I came to see some of the, like, uh, boys' toys. I like the jet skis. There were some nice things there as well for uh, 
uh, snorkeling as well. And quite interesting things going on. Just arrived, I'm enjoying it. Basically, we went from the Euro 2 and we launched the new Euro 3. Uh, more functions, better quality, bigger processor, more variety. And basically what it offers is recording your life's experiences from the desert to the sea to the sky, putting it on your toys, putting it on your car, putting it on your body, anywhere. Now at the rate that technology is going at, I mean, what next for innovation in terms of these mountable sort of cameras? Well, basically we've reached a pinnacle where we've got 4K resolution on the new Black Edition, which uh, is very difficult to beat at the moment. We've got a built-in Wi-Fi, so you can basically live stream it through a GoPro app on your phone. Next, I don't know, I can't wait to see. Right now I'm here with Fritz. He's come from Amsterdam, Holland, right here to the UAE for Big Boys Toys 2013, and he's quite the GoPro fan. I like GoPro because it's small, it's a real good quality, and it's very easy to handle. Even with the remote control, because the Hero 3 comes out now with a remote control, and it's perfect. Everyone can uh, walk, run and jump and do some tricks, as you said, do some, maybe some backflips. And uh, it's also be used in uh, medical rehabilitation, right? Because it's really healthy, so everyone can use it. Every age, every weight, there's no problem. What we're actually looking for is uh, uh, to find uh, some kind of a place where we can actually introduce it more into this area and we want to show it around and uh, yeah, we you just want to make it uh, interesting and uh, want to have fun with it. You won't believe the way it was jumping, way in action. It was almost 440 watt pump up the volume in the UAE. The toys, like um, for my son, that's what uh, he cares about. I tell him to go and see the golden things, the uh, jewelry. The he doesn't care. He wants to see the toys. 